welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making the bomb, the best oxtail recipe ever. Y'all know when it comes to oxtail, I don't play. I have a lot of oxtail recipe. I will leave down below for y'all. But today this is basically an updated recipe on how to make oxtail my way, okay? Because I know a lot of you guys probably Jamaican. Don't come for me. I make it to my liking, all right? <laughs> so I'm asking you, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, like the video for me. If you enjoy it, why not give it a like? Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know how do you make your oxtail. I'm using about three and a half pound of oxtail. Ooh, ooh, let me tell you, they are so big. Oh, so big, I don't know why, I like them fan. That way they cook faster, but it is what it is. Next, we have about one cup of onions, nicely chopped. About half a cup of green bell pepper. Here I have my green seasoning. It might not look like green seasoning, but it is, okay? It's basically garlic, parsley, scallion, chopped together. I do have a recipe for it. Check it down below. Okay, it's eight piece, Haitian eight piece. Here I have about a tablespoon of chopped parsley. We have three cloves of garlic and we have about two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now you can use oxtail browning if you like. I don't have any, so I'm using brown sugar. Most of the oxtail recipes that I made before, they're made with brown sugar, so they never disappoint me, so why not use in. Here we have about, I'll say a cup of fresh tomatoes. I have one scotch bonnet. When I tell you this is spicy, I can smell it over here. I have two tablespoons of ketchup here as well. I have my salt. I'll say half a teaspoon. Here I have one scallion chopped. Thyme. Double U sauce, which I will leave down below. Low sodium soy sauce, about a tablespoon. A tablespoon of adobo seasoning, ground black pepper, olive oil. Okay, you don't need a lot, just I'll say a tablespoon. Keep in mind the oxtail, they have lots of fat. You don't want to add too much oil. Also, I'll be adding saison seasoning. So first thing first, I'll be cleaning my oxtail. If you don't clean your meat, that's on you. But look at these. You need to wash them at least. So let me show you guys how I do it. First thing first, I like to do with my oxtail is give it a nice rinse, okay? We're going to rinse it just to remove the blood. Okay guys, now y'all can see the oxtail is done rinsing. I'm going to add some salt. And it's not going to be salty for those who might ask. I have my lemon. I'll be adding a little bit of lemon juice in there. Not a little bit, but. And I'll be adding my lemon as well to clean it. Going to add lemon and scrub it with the lemon. That's what I do, okay? And while I'm here, I'm going to slice these because they're too big and I want all the seasoning, all the flavor to get in between. So that way, I'm just going to slice them. I like buying the thin one because they cook faster and of course the flavor get in there easily but these are what they're so big be careful with the seeds of the lemon because if they do get in there and hide and you cook it with it it might make the oxtail taste a little bit bitter okay so be careful with the seeds of the lemon so what i'm going to do is just let this sit for about five to ten minutes okay guys it's been about ten minutes 
Now I'm going to rinse off the oxtail. First thing I'm going to add in is some freshly cracked pepper. Next, we're going to add in the salt. Next, I'm going to add in the adobo seasoning. Next, I'm adding the sazon seasoning, one packet. Green seasoning. Ketchup. Soy sauce, double U sauce, garlic, scallion, parsley, thyme. I'm adding half of the pepper for now because I don't want it to be too spicy. Let's add half. Green bell peppers, onions. Tomatoes. Now we stir it. Okay, guys, we're done marinating our oxtails. Y'all can see how gorgeous, how beautiful this looks. OMG, I cannot wait to eat my oxtail. I can't wait. <laughs> It looks so good already. We want to cover this, place it in the fridge for about one hour or 30 minutes. If you don't have time, then you can cook it, okay? I'm going to cover it quickly and place it. Look at the juice from the, look at that. I think that's from the onion. Oh, so good. Now we're going to braise the oxtail. I'm using about two tablespoons of olive oil. Let that get nice and hot. Then we can add our brown sugar. Now I'm using the oil just so the brown sugar doesn't burn on its own. And then we can add the oxtail. For those who might ask, is it going to be sweet? No, it is not going to be sweet. Okay, trust me, it's not going to be sweet. Now we're going to add in the oxtail. Now you can see how caramelized the brown sugar has gotten. Now we can place our oxtail on there. Now the, the brown sugar, I use it as the browning. If you do have oxtail browning, you can use it, but the brown sugar, that's what's going to give the oxtail that nice brown, rich brown color. So that's why I added the brown sugar, okay? Now we're going to cover it and let it braise by itself for about 10 minutes on each side. Once one side is nice and golden brown, just like that, as y'all can see, just flip it over and let the other side get nice and brown. Once both sides have been 
browning we're going to add in the veggies okay now the veggies like the tomato the onion they have water on their own so i am going to let this sit just like that don't don't add any water yet as y'all can see the grease have increased a little bit because of the fat from the oxtail so don't be alarmed <laughs> all right now i'm going to add the veggies and let that sit for about 10 minutes on medium medium low i would say and once you uncover it you will see how much water you see, I did not add any water. The oxtail produced its own water, the tomato, the onion, and everything else, okay? Now, y'all can see how good it looks, all right? I let it sit for about 10 minutes, like I said, before I add my water. Now I'm going to add the water. Now, the water you adding is based on how thick your oxtail is because mine were so jumbo and so huge i had to add about 10 cups of water now if yours are thin you might have to figure out how much water you have to put in in your pot for it to cook now every time i notice the water is getting low and it's it's not tender yet so i I added more water and there's no need to add more seasoning trust me you won't need it just keep adding your water until your oxtail until your oxtails are nice and tender all right I let it cook for about three hours and you got to stir it occasionally because it'll stuck at the bottom as y'all can see but this is what it looks like nice and tender after three hours later all right now i'm going to let it simmer until my sauce my gravy is nice and thick and that's basically the recipe it's not a quick recipe but let me tell you this is now this is the ultimate oxtail recipe y'all have to try it okay this right here if you don't try it if you love oxtail, you have to try it. Some people don't like it, I understand. But honey, this is fall off the bone oxtail. Try it out, let me know. And let me know how you make your oxtail down below because this is the way I've been making it and it never fails, okay? This is it nice and golden and oh, glistening. Oh, oh, look at that sauce, honey. Browning, browning who? We don't need no browning. I'm, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> if you do have browning, you can use it. But as you can see, this is natural color. Fall off the bones, so, so good. I eat mine with pinto beans and rice. Oh, so good. As I'm talking to you guys, I just finished a plate. Try it out, let me know. Make sure you subscribe. If you like the video, you have to subscribe. So hit subscribe. Also, leave a like. Let's get this video to a 500 likes. Can we do it? Do it for your girl. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.